Hey guys, this is Peter from XPro Heli. I'm going to show you guys how to download the XPG utility, get your drivers set up, and connect to the XPG to change the software settings for your different camera configurations. First thing that you want to do is go to the xproheli.com webpage, navigate over to the XPG brushless gimbal sales page. You see, I have that already open. You'll scroll down and see all the cool gimbal stuff with videos. You'll scroll down here and there is a link right here. It says link to download XPG utility and user manual. Click here. All right. So click there. That'll bring you to a Dropbox link. And what you're going to do is download this entire folder. You go up here, click download, download as a zip file. And you're going to want to extract that item to your desktop. So I have it right here. I'm going to click right click go extract all okay awesome we're good to go so in this folder you'll find four different items two different driver folders an XPG user manual and the XPG utility uh, if you recently purchased your XPG most people are going to be using this driver it's the CP210 this is the latest driver it uses the micro USB port so that's basically to drive the communications between your computer and your XPG. For you guys that have the standard uh, size USB cable for your XPG, you're going to want to use the other driver. So micro USB users use the CP210. I'm going to go in there. There's two different versions. There's a 64-bit version and there's a 32-bit version. If you have a 32-bit Windows machine, you'll want to use the X86 installer. If you have a 64-bit Windows machine, use the X64. Double click that, it'll take you through a couple setup things. Real straightforward, install the driver, you're good to go. Go back up here to the root folder and you'll see that we have a XPG user manual. It's really cool, it's a PDF, it has lots of information on different camera configurations, XPG usage. Highly recommend that you read it. Awesome little manual. Next, what we're gonna do is connect our computer to the XPG. Got our micro USB here, got our XPG. We're gonna turn our XPG around. You can see we have the cover plate for the circuit board and the micro USB right here. We're gonna take our cable and we're gonna connect right here. If you guys have a really fat micro USB cable, you may have to take a razor blade to the rubber on the USB cable to make sure that it fits in between the cutout slot on the back of the XPG. And you want to be very careful when you connect this thing. Uh, if you have any lateral movement like this, or if you're moving your gimbal around a lot, you can break that little USB connector. So just be super careful, but otherwise it's pretty straightforward. So you just want to take the flat side of your micro USB, make sure it's facing towards your camera and we'll plug in just like this. And you can hear that windows went dun 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 dun. That means that we are connected. You'll see there's a little red light on the back of the circuit board. We have power, we have a connection. And what you will see is that I set up our XPG with a couple different goodies on it. I got a blur fix lens filter. I got an FPV cable and I also have the GoPro battery backpack on the back. So. What you guys need to know, this is the secret, is that you can't run your GoPro like this with your XPG out of the box. You gotta go into the software and you gotta load the right settings. So you can see the XPG is moving around a little bit. That's completely normal. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over the XPG utility, open it up. Windows will say, oh, watch out for this program, just say, okay. This is a perfectly fine program. It's a standalone executable. You do have to have Windows to run this. So Mac guys, I'm sorry. We're working on it. So this is pretty straightforward. Open up your XPG utility. You'll see Windows has already recognized COM port 8. You'll click connect. Your XPG will be connected. It will go through a gyro calibration. It'll load the settings. You can see the settings got populated into the program. Now you're good to go. You're good to change your settings now. So we've made this super straightforward. There's seven different boxes on the bottom here. GoPro naked, GoPro naked with FPV, 
GoPro naked with FPV with the lens filter, GoPro with the backpack, GoPro with the backpack and lens filter, GoPro with the backpack and FPV, and finally the one that we're going to load, the GoPro with the backpack, lens filter, and FPV. So that's what I got set up here on my XPG. That's the button I'm going to click. I'm going to click backpack lens plus FPV. That's going to load new settings into the program. And what we will do is click the save button right there, saving the settings to the XPG. And that is it. That's all you have to do. You're good to go. We can unplug our XPG from the computer. We can plug our XPG into our battery. Right like that. Our XPG will power up. We now have new settings, so we are good to go. Okay guys, so got my battery plugged in. My software settings are loaded for this camera configuration, but I'm looking at my camera and I'm saying, hey, it's tilted a little bit to the left, maybe a little bit to the right. Eh, looking at it closer, it looks like it's a little bit to the right, so I wanna make it tilt to the left just a little bit. I wanna change my offset settings. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my gimbal, I'm gonna take my micro USB cable, plug it back into the computer, just like that. This will go through a gyro cal real quick. There it goes. We will click reconnect on our XPG utility. What we'll do is go over here to my roll axis angle offset value right here. We have it set at zero. And I want to go to the right, so I'm going to enter in a positive value. And actually, I'm just going to, you can click on either side of this little tab here to increment in tenths of a percent. So we can just start clicking. And you can see that our gimbal is now moving to the right to offset that value. If you want to really move your gimbal back and forth, you can grab the slider and move it much quicker, but if you want to fine tune it, you can just click on one side of the slider, left or right, and that will increment or decrease the degree value. So I'm gonna set it right down here to about, oh, let's say 2.3, 2.2 degrees. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna go click Save to Settings to XPG. Settings are saved. Now I'm going to go back to my pitch and I'm going to say, hey, I want my gimbal to be tilted up just a little bit more. I notice that my preset angle offset is at eight degrees, so I'm going to switch that down to zero. You can manually type in zero. You see that moved our tilt up. Click save settings. Now we are good to go. So we can unplug our XPG from the computer. And we are good to go.